Hi, this is David Fine with Keys Moths. Welcome to Wacky Worms. Today, we've got a seriously wacky worm to show you. Eumorpha fasciatus. Check this out. You're not going to be disappointed. Florida. It's a large moth, wingspan up to five inches, uh, pretty much unmistakable. You might find, if you found a vine sphinx, Eumorpha vitis, uh, you, it might be confusable with that species, but that one's a lot more rare. Uh, chances are, if you find a Eumorpha fasciatus, you're not going to confuse it with any other, any other species. Uh, it's got that typical Eumorpha uh, fighter jet looking stance when it's resting and boy when it takes off it almost seems like a fighter jet because this thing is a powerful flyer uh this thing boogies all right and uh very distinct four wings got the really pretty kind of banding on the four wing where it gets its name from but probably the most unique markings uh, of this species are on the hind wing they've got this really pretty pink and turquoise bluish green color banding uh, on the hind wings it keeps those hind wings hidden most of the time, so we don't get to enjoy the, those colors very often, but sometimes while at rest, if it's resting and you startle it, it'll flash those hind wings for a few seconds before it takes off, almost to try and scare a predator away. The caterpillar feeds on a plant called water primrose. It's genus Ludwigia, and it lives. this plant lives in the coastal areas of like the freshwater ponds and canals of South Florida. Real pretty plant. It actually has a, a nice leaf, a beautiful yellow flower. And if you go in the month of August, I don't know why August is such a hot month for this bug, but if you go in August and you get your wading boots on and you go down to the water's edge and you know watch out for alligators, but look for uh, big fat green caterpillars on the Ludwigia in that time in August in South Florida, you are gonna find your share of uh, the banded sphinx moth down here in South Florida during that time. And I love the caterpillars because caterpillars are have a lot of different color forms. They've got the typical green uh, sphinx looking thing going on on a lot of them, but there's this really wild looking fiesta colored red and orange and yellow kind of looking caterpillar form that uh, shows up sometimes as well. When the caterpillars are smaller, they have that typical horn. Uh, the eggs are laid singly on the leaves, on the undersides of the leaves of the Ludwigia plant. And man, if you want to find a, a, these things, all you do is look for a stem where all the leaves are missing off of one of these primrose uh, plants. And sure enough, if you see that, there's going to be a caterpillar not far behind. This species lives very commonly in South Florida. Again, they don't show up to lights very often, but uh, they are a common moth. Uh, they live throughout the Caribbean, Central and South America. It's a very common moth throughout most of the American tropics. We've seen a couple specimens in North Key Largo. Um, they've shown up at lights a couple times, but we're suspecting that these are strays and they're probably not breeding in the Keys because uh, their host plant is more of a freshwater thing and North Key Largo is more of a brackish and saltwater uh, environment. So probably not breeding in the Keys, but they have shown up a few times. So when the larvae are done eating, uh, it's time to pupate. They will crawl down uh, off the plant and find a place in the dirt and in a leaf litter, and they'll bury themselves in the dirt and pupate underground. Or sometimes when the water level is high, the caterpillar is ready to pupate and it can't get to the ground because it's, it's in standing water. Uh, they'll actually pupate in leaf litter on the plant and make a little cocoon or a housing on the plant and they'll pupate there and emerge from there. But uh, that's about all the time we've got for today, folks. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, love this bug. Love Eumorphas, my, one of my favorite genuses of all the butterflies and moths in South Florida. Uh, we would love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Click the bell uh, after you subscribe. That'll get you notifications, get you more videos like these whenever they come out so we can educate you on the butterflies and moths of South Florida. Uh, give us a like, thumbs up, share us with your friends, and until next time, uh, enjoy South Florida. Let's get out there. Mm -hmm.